Dave Anderson, Heli Cool Heli Pad. I missed you and welcome back. Hey, today we're going to be doing the bottom part of this uh, trailer uh, kickstand. And I think I've got a really good plan. I think this is gonna work out. And <laughs> let's go ahead and build the bottom half here, shall we? You guys stay tuned. All right, so here's the question. Uh, I've got uh, 32 inches right to here. There's another six would make 38. 40 is where the ground level should be. So there's only two inches. Is that going to be enough if the trailer sits a little bit weird? Ah, two inches. I don't have that much to play with. It'll have probably another four inches at least of down travel. Uh, I'm going to go with it. Six inches. Uh-oh. Hard <laughs> of fate. Gave up the ghost. Well, it just needs new brushes. Thankfully, I've got another $13 one in the box. It's ready to go. And wa-bam! What do you guys think? Weld this together, slap it on there like that for a foot. It only adds another half inch. I think that will look marvelous. It looks sort of like a butterfly. It really is. Oh, you're right. Okay. See the butterfly? The wings of the butterfly? So pretty, so beautiful. Well, might as well use the rain for something. Cooling off parts. All right, got this piece fabricated out of the old rail and how that fits on there. All right, so this goes on like this and this goes on just like this and these two hydraulic ends will actually come through here. I'm going to have to put some holes in these and then they'll pin to the other side and I'm going to probably end up putting some gussets on here to, to strengthen them up. But that is, that's looking good. Kind of happy about that. Now I got the slots cut for the hydraulic ram part and I'm just going to take some scrap steel, weld this on so it has something I can pin against on the other side and uh, that'll be good, that'll be really good.
guys, this is the next day. I'm wearing my lucky orange hoodie and my crappy yellow hat. Hey, anyway, <laughs> yes, it takes a lot longer when you fabric cobble stuff together with just scraps. Um, but also it does take a lot longer when you're trying to make a YouTube video as well. Um, so just bear with me. I have a couple of, of struts that I'm going to put in here. Actually, these are called gussets. And that should be able to take the weight, the bending force of the hydraulic rams pushing down. Get those welded up. Let's get started. All right, close your eyes. All right, there you go. That should work pretty good. It is definitely a monstrosity, but it is definitely one of a kind and a Frankenstein model if I've ever seen one. But it should work just fine. I just need to figure out where to put the pump and the hydraulics. How to get all that uh, switched up so that this thing works properly. And one more thing. So I was hunting around and guess what I found? A big, long, three inch outside diameter, stainless steel, thick wall pipe. It is good to keep scrap laying around sometimes. That'll work. All right, so here's the situation. I can powder coat this, but you know, it's just made out of scrap and I would have to spend hours fine tuning and taking the scratch marks and all the little things out of it. Um, I just, don't think that I'm willing to do that. Any little drip that would touch that powder before it got into this oven, it'd ruin it. If you think I should try to powder coat it, put it in the comments. Tell me what you think that, that I should do with it. <laughs> Wait for a better day? That's it for sure. I may be waiting for a couple of weeks. Holy mackerel. I did manage to save a little bit of weight. I removed, I removed all these little pins that held the, uh, the uh, hydraulic unit from basically falling down. I saved about, uh, oh, I wanna say about a pound. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this guy, I'm gonna drill through the pipe right here and there's just gonna be one pin right in there like that just to hold the whole thing up because eventually this will be welded, the bottom foot will be welded to that inside pipe. The inside pipe goes, well, it goes clean up here somewhere. So pinning it there with just one single pin with these pins holding the hydraulic units from just falling down, that should hold the whole thing in place. So I think aggregate, I saved about a third of a pound. So that's awesome. Let's just see how heavy this thing is. That's gotta be every bit of 125, 150 pounds. It's pretty dang heavy. Well, I'm gonna wrap this up. It took me a day and a half to fabricate that foot. <laughs> Not so many pieces are on that thing. Anyway, 
What's that smell? Huh, what's in here? Oh yeah, it's my lunch. Nice. <laughs> Until next time, guys. I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there and God bless. Oh, hot. Hmm. Have a little bit of burnt oil flavor. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's awesome. <laughs> Ciao. This is how you clean this thing. Blue paper towel. <laughs>